noble hands of you and your associates. Signed, Baron Massey Prefect. There he sits, like a general, safely out of the range of fire, and orders a handful of men without any weapons to wipe out an impregnable fortress. Our capable hands. They're only capable when there's a ticklish job to be done. To think that one stupid girl could cause all this trouble. Only because there are millions of others just as stupid as she is. What can you expect from a peasantry fed on religious dogmas and nurtured on superstitious nonsense? I firmly believe that this girl and what she stands for is a menace to civilization. The girl is dangerous, I admit, but she's she... a religious fanatic. And every time religious fanaticism steps forward, mankind moves backward. And that is why I will fight this vigorously. And I'll resort to any measures to defeat it. I don't know much about higher politics, but I do know a lot about burglars and thieves and scamps of all kinds. I know how to scare them and apply pressure. I promise you that if you give me five minutes for this girl, she'll never go near the grotto again. Try it by all means. Try anything. I was thinking of somewhat the same procedure, however not quite so crude. There's something about the title Imperial Prosecutor that makes people quake. Without so much as raising my voice, I am confident... You can't handle people like this with silk gloves and fancy words. We shall see. Send for two of your policemen. Dusty one. You stay here, Mary, and wait for Mama to come home. Don't worry or just tell her I've gone to the city hall with these gentlemen. means that I have been appointed by His Majesty the Emperor. He has vested in me the power to punish anyone who perpetrates a fraud against this community. Now do you understand my position? Oh, yes. You're much the same as Monsieur Jacobet. A good deal more. I am his superior officer. He hunts down the criminals and swindlers. I send them to prison. Oh. Now, bearing in mind my title, and realizing the extent of my authority, I ask you never again to go to Massabiel. Oh, but I must, monsieur. The lady has asked me. Now, there you go again with this lady. Baronadette, you'll admit you are very ignorant, the worst pupil in the whole school. That is true, monsieur. I'm very stupid. Then you should take heed when intelligent people assure you that this lady is only a childish bit of imagination, an absurd dream. The first time I saw the lady, I thought it was a dream, too. There, now. Now, that wasn't so stupid. Once you can mistake a dream for something real, but not six times. Isn't it strange that until your first visit to Massabiel, your family was destitute? Now your mother is employed by a wealthy family, and your father has a steady job, and your followers have literally showered your household with clothing and foodstuffs? Now, if the court were to decide that your lady represents a profitable business scheme, it would go very hard with you. I have not accepted one thing, monsieur, because I knew the lady would not like it. Look, my child, I am trying to help you. He's using the wrong technique. He'll get nowhere. I am not asking you to retract anything. I merely want you to promise me that you will accept my counsel. If I can, monsieur, I will. Good. Now, put your hand in mine and promise me that you will not go to the grotto again. That I cannot promise, monsieur. Let me remind you that I am the Imperial Prosecutor. I know, monsieur. You told me that before. Now, listen carefully, Bernadette. 
In the next room is Jacome. He is cruel and mean. Furthermore, he believes that everyone should be treated like a criminal. If you refuse me, I will be forced to turn you over to him. I can promise you it will be horrible. He will have you cringing and crying in no time. But I can spare you all this if you will only be reasonable. Well, what is your answer? It is the same, monsieur. I must keep my promise to the lady. Very well. I'm finished with you. If you're intent upon your own destruction, go. Yes, monsieur. What's your name? But you know my name, monsieur. What's your name? Soubel Bernadette. Before I go further, I want you to know I will write down everything you say. Such a paper is known as a deposition. We sent to the Imperial Prefect at Tarp. Besides, we also have Monsieur Estrade for a witness. So be very careful what you say. Now, about this lady you claim to see, do you know who she is? No, monsieur, I don't. What does she wear? A white veil with a blue girdle. And there's a rose on each foot. Mm. She stands quite still, like a statue in church? Oh, no, she's ever so natural. She moves about and talks to me. She greets the people and even laughs. Mm. Do your parents believe this story of yours? No, monsieur. I don't think they do. And yet you expect me to believe when your own parents don't? If your lady were real, wouldn't other people see her too? I don't see why they can. She's there. Now pay attention. I'm going to read your answers back to you so you can confirm their correctness. Bernadette Subaru declares the lady wears a blue veil and white girdle. No, a white veil and a blue girdle. You're contradicting yourself. You said a white girdle. You must have made a mistake in writing it down, monsieur. Bernadette Subaru declares the lady resembles the statue of the Blessed Virgin of the parish church. And no, that's not true. The lady has nothing to do with the Blessed Virgin in the church. That's enough. Nothing but a complete confession could save you now. Tell me the names of all persons who are in league with you. And don't try to lie, because I know every one of them. I don't understand what you're saying, monsieur. Well, I'll tell you. Certain persons have put you up to circulating this disgusting story. They've trained you, stupid as you are, to reel off by rote exactly what they taught you. Now tell me, who are these people? But you said a moment ago, monsieur, you knew them. The police are outside, waiting my orders to take you to jail. But if you promise before this witness that you will never set foot in Massabielle again... No, I must keep my promise to the lady. You want me to call the police? If the police take me, I can't help it. And that's not all. I'll have your mother and father thrown into jail, too. The rest of your family will starve. Come here! What the devil do you want? My child. That's all I want. My child. Listen, Subaru. This business at the Grotto has got to stop. I won't stand it any longer. So help me God, Commissioner. That's all I want, too. It's destroying my family. The girl's a minor. You're responsible for her. Forbid her to go out except to school. Lock her up at home if you have to. Because if you don't, I'll lock up the whole bunch of you. Now get out. God help you if I have to summon you again. Well, monsieur. What do you think of it? I think you were extremely fortunate in having the father break in just when he did. The fact that the authorities have prevented her going from Massabielle has served to make her seem more important in the eyes of her schoolmates. That is most unfortunate. The children gather and whisper.